Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. Oh, my cat has decided to <laughs> to come. Hi, Meatball. How are you? <laughs> How's everybody doing? Um, I'm back with another reaction video. Um, this one is the Parallel Phantom Pains. Uh, they are good friends of mine as well. We did one of Poor Me, and um, I'm super excited to listen to this one. I haven't listened to this one yet. My girlfriend is currently sitting on my bed, hanging out. So if I keep looking over into this general direction over here, you, you get the point. Anyway, I'm going to play this song. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. But this is the Parallel Phantom Pains. This is super good. Uh, I feel like it's definitely um, the most current North Lane record inspired. I think I think it's Alien. I'm pretty sure. Um, just because my memory is poor. But anyway, uh, I really dig this song so far. It has that really kind of industrial electronic elements to it. I feel like Luke definitely taps more into his um, lower register in terms of his screaming and stuff. And you can definitely hear that. I'd like to know who does the clean vocals on the chorus because that sounds super sick. Um, I want to say it's Luke just because I feel like it, that was what it would be. But if not, then... Ron, you got some crazy range because that just sounds awesome. But um, I really like kind of like the just like the rhythmicness of this song, pretty much like the way that they kind of cut out um, like the guitar parts uh, throughout certain parts of the song, as well as kind of the drums really kind of the drums and like I would say more so the bass fill in different spots of the song that I wasn't particularly thinking would really work. But as the song kind of continues on and just grows um throughout the beginning it really feels like a different track and then that chorus sounds massive um again the person that they went to record with just did an excellent job i'm almost positive it was um the people out in ohio i forget their names uh i think it's capital recordings i'm pretty sure um but it sounds super sick uh, i love it so far i really do appreciate like again much like i said in poor me i think loose screaming has just improved a lot since weaver and there's just a little bit of a different flair to it i think that each of the singles that they've released so far and they plan on releasing more um they do feel all different and i'm curious to see how broad of a range they go again poor me felt still feels pretty much one of the more heavier tracks but um who i've become is just a bop too so i really have enjoyed the the differences between the different songs and the different singles that they've released so far and i'm curious to see where they take it next but let's get into the next part of the song <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> 
Oh, something's gonna happen. I can feel it. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I thought for sure something was gonna happen at the end of this track, but that drop... I, I, listen, I don't even know how, what to tell you. It just sounded super sick. Uh, that I had to, I couldn't, couldn't even take it. I was just so stoked on how this song came out. Um, if I had to kind of compare it to the ones that have been released so far, um, I would say this is probably one of the better ones. Um, I definitely like all of them. I probably might have a slight bias just because they're friends of mine. Um, but I really have, I really have enjoyed all of the singles so far. Um, I know that they plan on releasing one, you know, going throughout the next couple, at least for the rest of this year. I don't know how many they're planning, um, but they're going to be definitely be planning more songs, just singles to be released. Uh, and, you know, I think the way that they're doing this and the, the way that they're being methodical about releasing the different tracks um, is really interesting. I was more so curious if this kind of leads into another song because it definitely feels like there is kind of something that's going to happen after it um, or it could just be just an instrumental kind of piece towards the end but I definitely either felt like there was going to A, be another drop or B, I thought they were maybe going to kind of um, transition into another song um, you know, if they were to compile like an EP or something like that, um, kind of akin to Spirit Box with their uh, singles EP. But uh, really enjoy this one. This one's heavy. I think they definitely pulled more swords of like the industrial kind of electronic uh, vibe. And it was definitely heavy. I think it pulled a lot of inspiration from Poor Me, even though like Poor Me definitely feels more like new metal inspired. Um, this one has kind of a more... I want to say it's, I guess, like a genty kind of sound. I hate using that term, a phrase, but honestly, that is the only way to kind of, I, I feel like, quantify this type of music. Um, but I overall really enjoyed it. Uh, I think they did a really good job of really making the track heavy, uh, you know, exemplifying some of their newer sounds, especially the more electronic stuff, um, and being a little bit more, I guess, playful with the way that they arrange tracks and the kind of like rhythmically bass them. Um, the drum work was really well done. Ron did a fantastic job. I love to hear more cleans from him. Again, I, I like his cleans, so that might just be a, a, a bias on that part, but overall, really enjoy this one. Um, go check out Poor Me. Obviously, you can check the link after this video to go watch that one um, and check out my review of that one as well uh, but I will probably be doing a review slash reaction to each one of these tracks that comes out you know on a however many basis that they release them um, and hopefully they'll come on for an interview very soon so they could talk about you know what they got going on for the rest of 2021 but if you like the parallel check the links in the description please go follow them go support them uh, they are the most lovely people on the face of this earth so uh really deserve the support and the love so go give them some of that um go check out their other tracks who i've become i think that was released on dreambound and then they have poor me which is on their youtube channel which you can check that little bubble on this vid on that video uh to go subscribe to their channel so if you enjoyed these reactions slash reviews slash whatever you want to call them uh please hit that subscribe button share it 
it goes a long way and uh drop in the comments what you'd like me to react to next um the other one that will probably be going out with this video is sentinel's newest uh track so inertia which i'm very excited to go check out so if you see the same outfit it's probably because i recorded them back to back so thank you guys for watching we'll talk to you soon peace